Welcome to the Leather Journey. In the next video on clamps, we're going to talk about uh, about nipple jewelry and uh, some adornments that can be done just by simply uh, taking a basic clamp and adorning it. And sometimes that that clamp can be just used in uh, as a fashion statement, whether it's a leather event or a fetish party. Uh, but it also can be used to incorporate a little bit of play. Uh, if you're gonna wear uh, a nipple clamp that's been adorned as a fashion statement, then you want a lightweight clamp and you, don't, and you want it to be light in weight so that it can be worn for the entire evening and, uh, and be enjoyed and be kind of a, uh, the focus of a conversation point uh, all evening long how many people stop and ask you about your nipple jewelry. So um, I had a friend, a lifestyle friend, Ski, who uh, was very crafty, enjoyed making jewelry, enjoyed making uh, different types of nipple jewelry. And he actually, for many years, would send his jewelry to Devonshire Productions and Molly Devon and uh, Brian Davis would use his jewelry in their bondage videos. If you know anything about bondage videos, you'll know that Devonshire Production has a certain style of bondage video. I would kind of call it damsel in distress kind of video and a certain type of suspension and, and some they did some self bondage and stuff. But when Ski would send them a set of nipple clamps or nipple jewelry and they used it in one of their videos, they would send him a copy of the video. And it was kind of a barter arrangement. He would create something beautiful and send it to them and they would use it in their video. And I guess it helped them with production costs. And in return, they would send him a VHS tape. So that's one of Ski's uh, nipple clamps. It, it's a plastic clamp, it's very mild, uh, it doesn't hurt. It's just enough teeth to hold the uh, adornment in place. And that adornment actually is a lead weight. So in this particular instance, with this uh, particular clamp and adornment, uh, there is a little bit of light play involved, but that not so heavy a clamp that those couldn't be tolerated for most of the evening. Uh, I had at one time several pieces of his jewelry, but I only have one sample, one example to show you tonight. Okay, and that's these. You can visualize or imagine those hanging off of uh, a lady's nipples and her proudly wearing those for the evening and being the, the talking point or the fashion point of a fetish party. So these started with just a simple tweezer clamp and he added like a, a very lightweight plastic star. It looks like a crystal, but it's actually lightweight plastic, a plastic ring, and he's got three metal chimes and a ball. So it's like a set of, a small set of chimes. And as someone would walk around, they would jingle. So you can imagine if you're crafty or you like to do uh, jewelry, homemade jewelry, you could take bells, you could take different colored beads, uh, you could come up with your own design, and the idea would be you would want to keep it lightweight, uh, every piece would be unique, it would be a fashion statement, you want it lightweight and the, the clamps to be mild so that you can wear them for the evening, for the entire length of the party uh, or the event, and uh, be a fashion statement. It's a conversation point. Okay, so if you're shy and you don't, you have trouble talking with someone, uh, if you walk around wearing those, uh, other people are gonna talk to you and you're not gonna have to start the conversation. Okay, so um, a little bit of leather history there. Check out Devonshire Productions. They're still online. Uh, they're streaming now. They're not making VHS tapes anymore. Um, but if you see nipple jewelry, in one of their older videos, uh, it probably was done by my friend Ski. Okay, and Ski's long ago gone on to Leather Heaven. 
but he was part of my leather journey and I share his joy for making uh, jewelry and adornment for the body uh, with you and for all those crafty jewelry makers out there, those kinky jewelry makers, uh, if you haven't had this idea before, now you have a new idea, go forth and make unique jewelry and have fun doing it.